Hi everyone, I want to show you how to delete old Zoom recordings that you know you'll never need. So a couple examples of this might be you started a meeting with a colleague and you forgot to stop hitting, you know, you forgot to stop um, recording. So you've got a 45 minute recording in there of you and a colleague um, hashing out the details of a lesson plan. Well, you probably don't ever need to look at that recording again. And I would definitely say that's one you can toss. I'm also sure, like me, you probably have five recordings in your in your account where you were practicing using Zoom. That is A-OK -okay and highly recommended. However, we don't need to keep those recordings. And we don't, unfortunately, have an unlimited amount of cloud storage space. So we're going to be asking everybody to just monitor maybe once every other day or so. Go into your Zoom account and just delete any recordings you don't need. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go to zoom.us and we're going to log in again signing in with our Google credentials. I'm already signed in, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on my account there. And I'm not looking at my profile, but I'm going to be looking at my meetings tab. Now this meetings tab probably looks really familiar to you because this is where you go to start a meeting. But what we're actually going to look at now is our previous meetings. And here we go. So I have quite a few in here, three actually, that I don't need. Um, I, I know that I never need to look at my 1230 Wednesday virtual office hours again. Um, there was nothing in there that I need to save. So I'm just going to press the delete button on the right hand side there. I'm going to confirm, yes, I want to delete this. And I do know that I can recover it within seven days if I needed to. So I'm going to press delete. Now, um, let's say I know that I don't need this one either. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one as well. But perhaps this demo participant interactions meeting from today, perhaps that's one that I'm not sure yet. Maybe I need to wait a day or two, and then I'll know whether or not I need any of the content from that. So I'll go ahead and leave that one. And now I'm done. That's really all you have to do. So you go to your account, you go to meetings, and you're going to default to up coming meetings. So you click on the tab next to it or the, the title bar next to it where it says previous meetings. And then you just use those to decide which ones can, can go. Um, I hope this information is helpful to everyone and we appreciate your continued support in maintaining our Zoom cloud and our Zoom account. Have a great day, everybody.